Because I read that and I'm like, yes, give me that, please, thank you. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. If you are new here and are not subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. It would mean so much to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be a foundation review video for the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. Now I have been using this foundation for quite a while. I love it. Definitely one of my absolute favorite clean beauty foundations that I have tried so far. And it just works so great I really like it for my acne prone skin so let's just go ahead and get into this um, so I just want to tell you a little bit about what it says on the Pacifica website so it says get the flawless coverage of your dreams in 30 shades designed for real skin tones designed for real skin tones our innovative non-comedogenic dermatologist tested formula goes on smooth covers pores and lasts throughout the day but we weren't just concerned about creating your perfect shade we also care about the ingredients you use so this formula is free of silicone parabens phthalates talc bha bht petroleum and drying alcohols and a huge list of other things your skin doesn't love so it says that it's supposed to have immediate results it's supposed to give flawless seamless coverage skin's supposed to feel clean more radiant and healthy looking skin poor free appearance and vibrant and last day to night so all those are amazing claims i read that and i'm like yes Give me that please thank you so this has coconut water hyaluronic acid and rose and seaweed extract it is also oil free anti-shine it's supposed to have a satin finish it's 100 percent vegan and cruelty free and of course it's formulated without those harsh ingredients which is really great so one thing that i really do like about this foundation is that it is oil free because i have acne prone skin sometimes foundations that have oil can feel really heavy on the skin and they can you know clog the pores because oils can clog the pores not saying that's always the case but sometimes especially for people with acne prone skin it might make it more likely for you to break out just because oils can kind of sit on the skin and feel heavy on the skin so let's just go ahead and get into the demo all right so i have the shade 32 double l and this is described as a warm light color so for testing purposes i'm gonna do one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge i literally pretty much all the time use a sponge normally I don't like the application with a brush it normally looks cakey so I'm just gonna do a brush on one side and then a sponge on the other side to really test it out so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm just gonna start with just half of the face so I'm gonna do this side of my face with a brush and then I'll do this side of my face with a sponge so starting off with the brush normally brushes can give a little bit more coverage especially if you use that stippling or yeah that stippling motion just because it really packs on that pigment and actually I'm actually really surprised so I already know my opinions on this foundation I've used it quite a lot it's definitely one of my favorite foundations um, wow it is not looking bad at all I'm actually really shocked because normally using a brush it'll look cakey and it just doesn't work on my skin um, but wow seamless doesn't look like I have a heavy foundation on anything like that I'm gonna go in on the other side now with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge And like I already know, I really love how the sponge applies it. It looks super skin-like. Seriously, I don't know which side looks better. Okay, so right now with somebody who has acne prone skin with that hyperpigmentation, I think that this is about a medium coverage. Like that does cover really quite well um so i am going to go in with another layer i want you guys to really be able to see how this does build up so i'm gonna again do the same thing brush on this side sponge on this side i'm just gonna really build this up
So building that up, you can see it does have quite a doingness to it. I do have a combination acne prone skin, so that can, you know, play a role in how it looks, but it definitely has that luminous dewy finish. I will say now that I have built it up, I did add a lot. Maybe I added a little bit too much. Maybe if you just built it a little bit slower, I don't know why I added so much. I just kind of wanted to really see how much I could add. Really doing it in little bits at a time is the best way to build it up so it doesn't look cakey. I will say it is looking slightly cakey now. It definitely is looking a little bit heavy around my mouth but around the cheeks and the forehead it's still looking really nice and quite skin like and I don't want to forget to drag this down the neck. So now let's build up the other side with the sponge. bring this over the eyes as well so both sides obviously looking pretty dewy um, it still looks really pretty I'm definitely gonna want to set this with a powder I do think that this is pretty close to a full coverage foundation um, you can still see a little bit of the darkness from like um, some acne marks um, and some active blemishes you can see a little bit of that darkness um, just a little bit but I do think that it still does have really good coverage so definitely medium to full coverage it's definitely very buildable um, and honestly I don't know that the um, brush that the brush side made it have even more coverage than the sponge side I think that both sides are equally um, giving great coverage seriously impressed with how the brush does it definitely I think that using a sponge of course does help it look more seamless so I still will say that my preference for application is using a sponge so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a powder if you're curious I'm gonna use the vapor beauty perfecting powder press this is just a regular pressed translucent powder I really like this definitely one of my favorite clean beauty powder so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this along with the rest of my makeup and then i will be right back all right so i just finished applying the rest of my makeup and now i'm going to give you my final thoughts and my review of this foundation i can easily say that i really really like this foundation i really like how it looks on the skin it looks quite skin like but still giving good coverage now obviously you can still tell that you have foundation on your skin it doesn't look like you have nothing on but it still does look pretty light it doesn't look super heavy or anything like that and I do think that you really only need one layer you don't need to build it up like I did with building it up like I did it does look just ever so slightly heavy not too heavy but it does start to look a little bit heavy so when I use this I do normally just like to do one layer and I find that that still gives great coverage I don't really feel like I need to build it up anymore and honestly if there is a little bit of that pigmentation showing through it that's fine to me it's just a little bit but still this foundation does really give great coverage so for somebody who does have acne prone skin that is also a combination maybe a little bit oily um it does give a luminous finish it's supposed to have a satin finish um, but I just think that the finish is really gorgeous and I do like it that it has a little bit of that luminosity in it it does help it to look more natural and skin like so I do really like that and also this does last really nicely throughout the day definitely it says you know you can wear it day to night I do think that this lasts really well like probably eight hours in it it's still like obviously it will fade a little bit after eight hours but I do think that it does do a great job with lasting power as well I just really really like this foundation I have been using this for I don't know quite a while months maybe three months or more I just I really like it this is definitely one of my go-to foundations so I really hope that you guys liked this and found it helpful you know if you do have acne prone skin or a similar skin type to me I do think that you would like this foundation and if you are looking for a clean beauty foundation that is oil free I definitely recommend this one I think that it is so great thank you all so much for watching and I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys